From the time that there is an awareness of the existence of the soul, we'll say circa 50,000 BP, until the resolution of the apocalyptic potential, there's something like 50,000 years, which in biological time is only a moment, but it is the entire span of history times five. In that period, everything hangs in the balance because it is a mad rush from monkeydom to starshiphood. And in the leap across those 25,000 years, energies are released, religions are shot off like sparks, philosophies evolve and die, science arises, magic arises, all of these things which control power with greater and lesser degrees of ethical constancy appear. There is the possibility, as in the metaphor of dying, there is the possibility of mucking it up, of aborting the species transformation into a hyperspatial intellect. We are now, there can be no doubt that we are now in the final seconds of that crisis, the crisis which involves the end of history, the departure from the planet, the triumph over death, and the release of the individual from matter. We are, in fact, closing distance with the most profound event a planetary ecology can encounter, which is the freeing of life from the dark chrysalis of matter, the old metaphor of psyche as the butterfly is a species-wide metaphor. We must undergo a metamorphosis in order to survive the momentum of the historical forces already in motion. Well, if you know anything about evolutionary biology, you know that man is considered to be an, an unevolving species. In other words, sometime in the last 100,000 years, with the invention of culture, the uh, the biological evolution of man ceased and evolution became a cultural phenomenon. Tools, languages, and philosophies began to evolve, but the human somatite began to remain the same. And so we are very much like people a long time ago. But technology is the real skin of our species. Man, correctly seen in the context of the last 500 years, is an extruder of a technological shell. We take in matter that has a low degree of organization, we put it through mental filters and we extrude Lindisfarne Gospels, space shuttles, all of these things. This is what we do. We're like coral animals embedded in a technological reef of extruded psychic objects. In other words, the body must become an interiorized hologrammatic object embedded in a solid-state hyperdimensional matrix which is eternal so that man wanders through Elysium in his body experiencing all the pleasures of the flesh but not realizing that he is a holographic projection of a solid-state matrix that is micro-miniaturized, superconducting, and nowhere to be found. It is part of the plenum. And uh, we, all history is about producing prototypes of this situation with greater and greater closure toward the ideal so that airplanes, automobiles, condominiums, space shuttles, space colonies, uh, starships of the hardware, speed of light, spin dizzy drive type, all of these are, as Mercilion says, self-transforming images of flight that speak volumes about man's aspiration to self-transcendence so that we are, our wish, our salvation, and our only hope, basically, is to end the historical crisis by becoming uh, the alien, by ending alienation, by recognizing the alien as the self, in fact. And all these other images, the starship, the space colony, all that, these are 
precursors. Again, the idea that history is the shock wave of eschatology. As you close distance with the eschatological object, the reflections it is throwing off become more and more true to the thing itself. And in the final moment, God stands revealed. There are no more reflections of, uh, of the mystery. The mystery in all its nakedness then is seen and nothing else exists.